aboard fighter jets, long-range patrol or transport aircraft, tactical or search and rescue helicopters at bases across Canada and on board ship with our rugged maritime helicopters, the men and women of Canada's Air Force fly and maintain one of the world's most diverse and dependable multi-purpose combat-capable fleets. The roar of takeoff, the relief of a dramatic rescue, the complexity of delivering humanitarian assistance in a remote and hostile environment. For Canadian Air Men and Air Women, these are the challenges and rewards of a unique and highly desirable career. After basic training, new Air Force recruits and officer candidates move on to their technical and job-specific training at one of the Canadian Forces' specialized training schools. Whatever job you select, your training will include intensive classroom and hands-on practical instruction from some of the best teachers in the air and on the ground. For tradespersons, that will be followed by a period of on-the-job training under the supervision of experienced technicians and operators. Well, when you get to your first aircraft, uh, you, you start learning right away and the experienced technicians really show you around. You get to work on the new technologies every day. You get to travel, see the world. It's amazing. I haven't been bored yet. They keep you on your toes. Always new equipment, uh, lots of things going on, lots of challenges. Flight line training is an important part of many Air Force trades, including fueling, towing, marshalling, de-icing, and cleaning aircraft. Every mission depends on the skills and experience of each member of the flight and ground teams. The goal of this training is to prepare you for your role as a member of a highly skilled Air Force team, dedicated to the defense of Canada and to the support of Canadian interests at home and abroad. I was working in the tech industry private sector. I wanted something that offered an opportunity to work more than just out of a cubicle. Essentially I wanted the adventure, I wanted the challenge, I wanted to use the expertise I acquired during my years at university and uh, couple it with uh, the leadership potential that the Canadian Forces offered. Canada's Air Force is at work every day at our 13 air bases spread across the country. In Canada's multi-platform Air Force, every airframe and every mission has its own unique demands. The flying I've done in Afghanistan is certainly the most exciting and most fun that I've done so far. It's also the most challenging. When you're low level, you need to have a heightened awareness. The whole crew needs to be on their game. And I really appreciate the training that you've done up to that point when you're actually in the situation. Every flight crew, air traffic control, air defense, radar, and maintenance unit includes highly trained members from many different trades engineers, pilots and air combat systems officers, aircraft structures, avionics, aviation, and air weapon systems technicians, load masters, aerospace controllers, and many other vital specialties. Whether it's defending Canadian airspace, flying search and rescue missions, intercepting aircraft or ships carrying illegal drugs, ferrying soldiers and supplies to an overseas deployment, or providing relief during national disasters, we play a direct role in keeping Canada and Canadians safe. Most Air Force personnel work a regular 40-hour week on base. The day is typically split into day and night shifts because Air Force operations run round the clock 24-7. They serve out on the flight line or work inside a hangar, control tower, terminals, operations room, or maintenance facility. Other members, including flight crews, search and rescue teams, and their support personnel, can be called on at any time for immediate response to a vessel in trouble, a natural disaster, or a potential threat to our national security. In addition to their work here at home, Canadian airmen and airwomen can be based at various locations in the U.S. as a part of Canada's contribution to NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defence Command. Air Force personnel also serve in Europe as members of Canada's contingent with NATO's Airborne Early Warning and Control Force based in Geilenkirchen, Germany. Our Combat Ready Force takes an active role in multinational missions, representing Canada's interests on the world stage and helping to maintain global stability. The Air Force flies peace support missions and conveys relief workers, emergency food and medical supplies to scenes of natural disasters or where armed conflicts devastated the region. Air Force members who are assigned to our tactical Griffin and Chinook helicopters deploy when needed to support our Army troops on missions at home and abroad. Every single flight uh, provides a great deal of fun, just in the, the, the freedom and the experience of flying, and that is felt nowhere as greatly as when we're actually deployed on operations in support of Canadian forces. A deployment can be an intense 24-7 experience in a remote territory under extreme conditions. 
But taking part in international deployments is one of the most important missions of the Canadian Forces. Protecting local populations, delivering humanitarian assistance, and working closely with local residents and schools. These tours usually last about six months. When squadrons are on a field exercise or deployed overseas, the mission takes precedence over the comforts of home. Personnel are often housed in camps consisting of tents or modular shelters and eat their meals in a communal field kitchen. Air Force members working with maritime helicopter squadrons on each coast spend time aboard Canadian Navy frigates and destroyers as members of the ship's air detachment, flying and maintaining our ship-based helicopters in support of naval operations. Naval deployments can last from a few weeks to six months or longer. In addition, many Air Force members take part in international exercises and training missions, exchanging knowledge and experiences with Allied Air Forces around the world. I've been all over the place in the last year, uh, down to Florida, Key West, Hawaii, uh, Egypt. I've been all the way up to the North Pole. There's a lot of different cultures, little things that you get to see that you wouldn't get to see being at home. I've met a lot of new people, a lot of really good friends, some that I would call my best friends now. A career in the Canadian Forces is extremely unique. It's unlike anything else. Uh, you're constantly doing different things. You, your job changes on a regular basis each time you get posted and even within your postings. You know, it's very difficult not to enjoy uh, flying 300 hours a year in a $30 million aircraft at one and a half times the speed of sound. Uh, it's really hard to wake up in the morning and not be excited to go to work. Oh, it's surpassed all my expectations. I never thought I'd really have the opportunity uh, to go the places I've been, see the things I've seen. Every day is something new. You really never know what to expect when you come in. If you enjoy furthering your education and travel and a touch of discipline, then it's going to be the, the right place for you. I have been all over Canada and all over the world within short 10 years. It's, I can't even explain how amazing it's been. The adventure is just the career. Uh, there's so many things that are out there that, that we're involved in and, and we're able to experience. Uh, that's just, it's just phenomenal. You may have more specific questions about enrolling as a member of the Air Force and about the many opportunities available to you. Please feel free to ask any of the Canadian Forces personnel at the Recruiting Centre for help. Whatever choice you make, the Air Force is ready to welcome you, as it has welcomed thousands of Canada's finest young men and women before you with a rich and rewarding heritage of service, adventure, and pride.